Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new video. I'm Jacques, Mr. Pink Ink. <laughs> and today we are going to talk about my February TBR. Now, there are a lot of prompts for February. A lot of prompts for February. So, let's see. Yeah, uh, this is my... What my my woolly books looks like now. I had to take it down. Yes, and that's what it is now. It's in limbo. So that will serve as my background for today. <laughs> so we are going to be doing my TBR for February. Um and we have a whole shebang of prompts, guys. A whole shebang of prompts now. <clears throat> Pardon. Um, let me having a look here. We are okay. First of all, my Goodreads group. Sorry, my Goodreads group. Um, devour your TBR as themes every month, and this month it's fluffy February. <laughs> so anything light-hearted. So anything that has romance, that's cozy, that's homey, and that's maybe humorous. That will count. So we need to do that. Then I'm participating in Readathon, the first leg of 2023. It's February. It happens four times a year. February is the first one, obviously. And there are a lot of prompts in that one. We will go through them now. Now. <laughs> also, uh, magical Readathon hashtag is doing the magical choose your own adventure across. 2023. Um, I've just finished my book for January and we are going to be choosing our book for February. Um, March may prove difficult because ooh, I need a to read a book that's rated higher than 4.3 on Goodreads. Mm, who knows? Okay, so first as usual, um, Readathon has bingo board and they have photo prompts, so I'm going to put the bingo board in and then, you know, we can go through it. Now, this is what it looks like. I don't have a physical copy in front of me, um, so I've written down only the book prompts. So we're going to go through that and then um, we will go through our choices afterwards. <clears throat> so, going from the top, wherever, down to the bottom, wherever. <laughs> Top left, bottom right. <laughs> the book prompts are as follows. You've got LGBTQIA, so anything queer. You've got bought in a sub box or received in a sub box or recently bought. New to you author. Meant to read in 2022. Um, a favorite genre. Graphic novel. Mm -hmm. uh, title begins with F. Uh... Uh, then the random word, you have to choose a random word and then, you know, get somebody to do that for you. Somebody's pulling up on my door. Um, and then choose a title of the book, of a book for the title. Then something that features romance. Something released in 2017. Um, something that has under 300 pages and a mood read. Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. Everything's all good. I don't need to get up. And go check what that is, it's all fine. Then, um, yeah, then the magical readathon thingy, we are either need to go to the cave or go to a building, but because next month we need to fight a wizard. So I can take two routes from where I am right now. I'm going to go to the building because I don't like caves. I'm claustrophobic. Plus, you know, all that earth might fall down on me at any time, and then I can die. Not a nice, pleasant way. I won't think about that. <laughs> so we're going to go. So we will need to read a book um, with a building on the cover. Okay, so uh, let's go and see what we can do with that, shall we? Mm. <laughs> okay, so uh, my first choice, we're going to go with The Sun Bearer Trials by Aidan Schmidt and Aidan uh, Thomas. Um, courtesy of Pan Macmillan Kids. Thank you so much. Pan Mac South Africa. Um, now, obviously, this is going to cover the first prompt. This is queer. Yes. Um, it's a trans MC, I think. Um, this is also going to be a new to me author. This will be my first Aiden Schmidt novel. Yes. 
and also covers meant to read last year <laughs> there's so many books i meant to read last year i just you know things happen um so yeah so this covers three blocks in my big board so that's pretty cool yes <laughs> And then I need to choose something for Goodreads and it needs to be cozy and I started reading Witch Net in Westerham uh, by Dion Lister, Dion Lister, yeah, um, but it's a cozy mystery and it's witchy, but um, I'll put it over for next month, so for February for this month, so I'm going to be reading that, that's my cozy read for Flappy Reads, my lighthearted read, um, but it also covers a new to me author, <laughs> because I haven't read any of her books yet, and then it also covers something that's under 300 pages, because I think this is just over 200 so yes, we are knocking off those blocks. Mm. Not gonna lie, there are a, a couple of prompts that, you know, proved to be a bit challenging. <laughs> Number one being, title starts with an F. You know, trolling Goodreads, uh, all these lists and, and Google. Anyway. Luckily for me, I remembered that last year I got Mochanga. I got this one from Jonathan Ball. Oh, can you see? Yes, Fairy Tale by Stephen King. This is, is yeah, one of his new ones. I think it's a fantasy, and I think it's a book one. Um, so so chonkor. But anyway, we're going to do that one. That's for my title for F. This is also for favorite genre because it's fantasy. This is also what else the mark? Uh, nothing much, but it's just those two. So, mm, yes. <laughs> um, another one that proves to be challenging was to get a random word and then choose the title from that. <laughs> uh, my sister in Nosky still came to visit me today. She had to get to the clinic. Which is literally down the road, so she popped in for tea. Um, so I just asked her randomly because you know it's easier than just going and doing it online. Just give me a word. Just give me a word. So this is what happened. Hey, Zooks. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to. Are you busy? Mm -hmm. I've right. just finished. Okay, cool. I need to choose a book. I need to randomly generate a word and then choose a book on that word. Okay. Please can you give me a random word, but please bear in mind it's 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 for a book title, so mm. it's gonna be easier than me finding a random word generator. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Lady. Lady. Yes. Mm. The last thing I searched. Uh, I only have Lady Midnight and I've already read that. Okay, well then. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you gave me the word lady. I'm going to write it down. Hmm. Okay, Google search. Book title. With lady. Lady in the title. Okay, let's have a look. Lady Susan, Lady Sunshine, Lady Audley's Secret, My Lady Jane, The Lady of the Shroud, The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracies, a second book, I don't have the first one, The Lady of the Rivers, Lady Chatterley's Lover, I don't have that one, Lady Sativa, <laughs> don't you just love that name, Lady Sativa, Dr. Orion, number three. <laughs> Lady Sativa. Oh. So many. The Lady and the Unicorn, Our Lady of Pain. See, Lady Midnight, I've read that. Lady of the Lake. 
country diary of an Edwardian lady, the portrait of a lady, the lady of Mesru. Clarissa, oh, the history of a Langarang young lady. What? A lady's guide to etiquette and murder. The secret of the wooden lady is the Nancy Drew. Aha, I better than have that. No more word. The landlady. A lady in the lake. A lady's guide to mischief and mayhem. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I trolled that list, there are 43 pages of similar stuff to that, I, I, I stopped after page 5 or 6, um, I opened up my e-reader software, I don't know where my e-reader is right now, it's somewhere, I need to find it, but I do have the software, uh, between, you can link between it, it's called Calibre, so that has all my books on there anyway, so I went to go search for the lady and there's nothing, on there and then I thought you know what this might be a fruitless pointless thing but I'm gonna go check my Kindle app I'm gonna see what is all on there because there's some there's, there's quite a few things on there and 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 literally right at the bottom right at the bottom I found the dragon lady but I said oh no oh no this is gonna be a book one a book two but it's not it's a book one so we are gonna go with the Dragon Lady by Angelique S. Anderson, I think it is. I don't know. I didn't actually write it down, so silly me. Uh... <laughs> but anyway, that's now covers the word lady. Thank you, Zikiswa. So we got the Dragon Lady. It's also covers favorite genre again because it's fantasy. Um, it's also a new to me author, so that's great. But it's also Instead of me adding another book to this list, I'm going to use this one for my magical reader thumb tag uh, prompt uh, building on the cover. Because there's a clock tower. That's a building. That's a building. That's a building. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to use that for that as well. Three separate things. So they, they're separate. I don't get double points for those, but I do in reader thumb. That is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, now this is also one that proves quite difficult. Last year wasn't so bad. This year is getting worse. Next year is going to be even worse. For me, because I, I need to read the books that I already have. So, because Readathon was established in 2017, and it's been going every year since then, they've kept the prompt to read a release, a 2017 release, to kind of commemorate the date. Uh, last year I read Lord of Shadows. I think that was the one. I think it was number two. That's one of those three. Uh, it was Lord of Shadows that I read for that prompt. Mm, I can't read that again. I've just finished that series, Queen of Baron Darkness. Yeah, I need to, to finish finish up that book. Um, and I'm going to go have to go with something that you know I've tried to read twice before. So wish me luck this time. Uh, da, 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 da. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, by Lani Taylor, Lainey Taylor, Lani. Uh, <laughs> this is also a fantasy. This is also, you know, the only one that needs to cover. So there's nothing else on my, on my list here. Uh, this only covers. 2017 release and and favorite shot. There are still now after this. There are still a few prompts that I don't have books for. For example, uh, something got in a box or bought recently. The last time I bought a book was April last year, and I think I've read all those. <laughs> a graphic novel. I don't have another one. I might reread Demon in the Wood by Leigh Bardugo, but I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, that was the last one I got, and I was an upgrade that one. And then we also don't have something that features a romance, but I'm pretty sure that there'll be romance in one of these books. Pretty sure. So then we can mark that. And then the last one I don't have is uh, Mood Read. So we'll just, just, whichever one we'll see, we'll see. Whichever one I pick up in the mood, we'll mark it like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up something else and then read that, and, and then I'll mark that as a mood read. So, yes. So that, as they say, is that. <laughs> so, um, we currently have three physicals and two ebooks. Um, I'm probably going to listen to something on audio. I'm probably going to finish 
the Hitchhiker's Guide. I've, I'm, I've just finished number four, I think. Yes, I've just finished number four on audio via YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I need to listen to something. So I'll probably, I don't know yet. Um, I'm currently reading Darius the Great is Not Okay. I, I did put that aside. I'm picking up from where I left off. Because um, that's my in-between. Um, I still, I can't read anything out of February. So I'm going to finish that. So that'll be marked for my favorite TBR. Yes. It's an annoying fly that won't leave me alone now. Um, so yeah, and this junker. This junker. Stop it! Go away! Anyway, anyway. <laughs> From, uh, Almost time for sunset in Cape Town. It's a lovely summer's day. It was apparently 28 degrees according to whichever weather app you're looking for. But it's not. It's hotter than that. But this is cool. We survived. <laughs> what are you reading in February? What do you hope to read? Are you going to read a lot of romance? Because it's the month of love. Uh, please do let me know down in the comments below. I, um, um, I, I'd love to know what you're reading because, you know, I might be reading them as well. And then also, if you've read any of these, let me know down below in the comments what you thought of them. Love to know. I'd love to know because, you know, if it's a good review or if it's a bad review, I'd love to know. <laughs> Other than that, stay safe. Much love. Bye. <laughs>